Hi, this is Miss Charlene again for another story time, the safari story time for the summer, summer reading. Um, now we are going to be visiting the desert, and some of the desert animals, of course, are snakes and turtles and foxes, and also armadillos, because the, the desert is a dry place. This is a takeoff on the Three Billy Goats Gruff. It's an old fairy tale. This one's called The Three Armadillos Tough by Jackie Mims Hopkins, and it's illustra illustrated by S.G. Brooks. Once there were three armadillo sisters by the name of Tuff. The smallest was Lily, a gal who really knew how to shake her shell. There she is dancing. The middle sister was Lily, the fashion queen of the family. Look, she's doing her nails. The biggest sister was Dilly, who was crazy about chowing down. My, my, how those three armadillies loved to have a good time. In fact, it was their quest for fun and adventure that got them in trouble one warm summer evening. Let's go to that new dance hall on the other side of the highway, suggested Lily. I have a hankering to learn some new steps and kick up my claws. But if we run across the highway, I might chip my nails, complained Lily, inspecting her freshly painted claws. Or get squashed by an 18-wheeler, Dilly added. Oh, don't be such soft-shelled minis, Lily scoffed. We can cut through the big drain pipe that runs under the road. The sisters all agreed that this was the fine idea, so they waddled off toward the highway. By and by, the sisters arrived at the culvert, or the, the, the pipe, and the long dark pipe. I'll go first, Lily volunteered bravely. Scritch, 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 scratch. Lily sashayed her way along. Who's that scritch scratching through my tunnel, growled a voice. It, it, it's just me, Lily Armadilly Tough, the smallest sister. Come closer, snarled the voice. As Lily stepped forward, she saw a spindly-legged coyote with glowing eyes glaring at her hungrily. Look at her, she's biting her nails. Woo-wee, explained Lily, jumping back. She tried to ignore the coyote's pointy fangs. From the looks of those scrawny legs, I'd say you need a workout. What I need, panted the coyote, is a nice hot bowl of armadilly chili. Lily thought fast. My bigger sister's right behind me. She'd make a much better chili than I would, she suggested. The scraggly coyote scratched and scratched behind his ear for a moment. Go on then, she barked finally. Get. Lily scurried away before the coyote could change her mind. They're all ladies. Did you notice that in this story? They're all hers. Soon after, the second sister waddled into the tunnel. She was very careful not to let the cobwebs catch her, catch her jewelry. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Jilly jangled her way along. Who's that scritch scratting through my tunnel, growled the coyote. It's just me, Lily, Jilly, Jilly Armadilly Tough, the middle sister. Come closer, the coyote demanded. He looks kind of scary, look at him. He looks even bigger now. His tongue hanging out. As Lily stepped forward, she saw drool dripping off the coyote's long tongue onto the critter's grungy coat. Yikes, yipped Jilly. That slobbery mouth of yours sure needs sprucing up. And from the looks of your mangy old fur, I'd say you really need a soak in the tub. <laughs> what I need, snapped the coyote, looking Jilly up and down, is a nice hot bowl of armadillo chili and some fancy armadillo skin boots. Uh-oh, he wants to make boots out of her. Uh-oh. Whoa, hold on, flea bag, replied Jilly, holding up a claw. In that case, you'll be wanting my big, and I do mean big, sister Dilly. She's on her way here right now. Dilly will not, will not only fill you up and make you a fine pair of boots, but she might even fetch you a handbag, too. A handbag? The scraggly coyote's beady eyes grew larger, and she stopped drooling for a moment. Then she licked her chops mm, and barked, Go on, then, get. Lily slithered out of that tunnel, lickety-split. A few minutes later, the third sister squeezed into the tunnel. She's a lot bigger. Look, she's having trouble getting in that tunnel. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Dilly lumbered her way along. Who's that scritch scratching through my tunnel, howled the coyote. It's just me, Dilly Armadilly Tough, the biggest sister, replied. I'm trying to catch up with my sisters. <laughs> well, your sisters aren't here, snarled the coyote, but they promised me you, promised me you would make me a fine meal, some boots, and a handbag. Who, me? Dilly said. 
Why, that's downright ridiculous. I'm no good at cooking or sewing, but I know where we can find ourselves something good to eat and have some fun. <laughs> there they are. With a growl, the coyote stepped out of the shadows and Dilly got a good long look at her. Mercy, Dilly yelped. I mean, why you poor thing? How long has it been since you've had a girl's night out? A what? Asked the coyote frowning. You know, a night out on the town, Dilly explained, with friends. The coyote sniffed. I've always been a loner, she said. I've never had any friends. Well, bless your little heart, Dilly cried. We can fix that. Come on, let's go to find my sisters. <laughs> So they got all they are. They're looking at him. He's got a scarf or like a pretty scarf on it on her head. <laughs> when Lily and Jilly heard the coyote's sad story, the three sisters treated the pitiful critter, whose name, by the way, was Tallulah, <laughs> to a fluff and puff makeover and a fine meal at the trash cans behind the Chomp and Stomp. So look at, they're eating behind the restaurant called the Chomp and Stomp. She's got a hairbrush. Look how pretty she looks now. She's all spruced up. <laughs> look at him. That's what they're eating. Of course, they're at the garbage cans. <laughs> Bones, look at the little mice over here, too, even eating out of the carton. Before long, Tallulah was looking fine in her new bow. <laughs> look at her bow. A little purse. She's got red boots on. She, it was fake leather boots and a matching handbag. Then it was time to hit the dance floor where Lily taught them all how to do the armadilly shuffle. <laughs> and they're all dancing at the... <laughs> oh, I think that was so funny with her purse and her boots and her... <laughs> Even all the little rodents are down here dancing. So if you ever hear critters digging through garbage cans or a coyote howling, don't fret. It's just Tallulah and the Armadilly Tough Sisters having a rip-roaring good time. And there's the red shoe. And this is a takeoff on the Billy Goat's Gruff, because remember the Billy Goats go across a bridge and there's a troll underneath the bridge who threatens to eat each Billy Goat till the biggest one comes across. So this is kind of a new version of the Billy Goat's Gruff. I thought this was really a funny, cute story. I hope you enjoyed it. Now this week, for our craft that you can pick up at the Parkman Branch. Since we're in the desert, and I did say snakes were live in the desert. They live all over, but they also are in the desert. This is a craft that's very easy to put together. He hangs up. You can name her, you can name her, name her Tallulah if you want, or whatever name you want. But it's very easy to peel and stick. Can't go wrong with decorating it. You can hang it wherever you would like. And so that's the craft for this week. I hope you had a good time, and we'll see you at the next story time.